Here in Salt Lake City, a lot has changed since 1946, but one of the things that hasn't is all around me. Tucked into the walls of this little building is a 2,400-piece organ rich with history. It's here at Edison Street Lofts that they host events all throughout the year, ranging from weddings to sock hops, swing dances, to my personal favorite, silent films. About every two weeks this time of the year, Edison Street hosts silent films with legends like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. I don't know about you, but sounds like a great way to spend a Friday night. Let's go talk to Blaine Gale, the organist here, and learn some more. We're here with Blaine Gale, the organist here for uh, about 30 years. And uh, Blaine, can you give us a little background on, um, on Edison Street Loft? Surely. This place has been here long enough that it has become famous for the silent films and for all of the other uses, and you'll probably hear that from Larry a little later on. But the silent films, are an art form that spreads the information of what's good about theater organs. And this monstrous theater organ here is the biggest in Utah, but we have three others. Capitol Theater's been here the longest, and then Perry's Egyptian Theater in Ogden, and then way up north, Michael Ballum has one in the Utah Theater in Logan. And that one I'll be playing some silent films for him as well, eventually. This art form of silent films needs to have lots of organists like I'm doing. And so I want to pass the torch. We've got a list of students, but let's get more now. So what kind of, what do you envision for this place uh, in the next 10 years? In 10 years, <laughs> more theater organists. <laughs> we have theater organists here in Salt Lake who are already famous. One of them is Richard Elliott, a principal tabernacle organist who is loves this instrument. He came here on my 80th birthday, which was last May, and that tells me that I need to make sure that I use those events, like his connection, your connection coming here because of the arts that you folks are famous for in your, your uh, particular broadcasts and spread the word. Okay, great. Well, this looks kind of like flying a plane. It looks, <laughs> it looks a little challenging. So what would you say is the biggest challenge of playing such a complex uh, instrument like this? It's habit farming, and so repetition is the biggest thing. And once you get up here and see how it's laid out so easily with preset buttons to set things quickly, you find out it's easier to play than the little two keyboard organ up in the Capitol Theater. And people are amazed at that because there's so much more variety you can select from. So once we get a person hooked on wanting to hum, sing, or whistle a tune that's in their head and realizing they can do it with their fingers and they are the whole orchestra, the conductor, and the composer all at the same time, they're hooked. That's what I gotta do. This is Larry Bray, the current owner of Edison Street Organ Loft. And uh, Larry, can you tell us a little bit about the history and how this place came to be? Well, it all started back in 1946 when my uncle Lawrence Bray became intrigued with the amazing sound that these instruments could put out. And his aunt that lives next door in this little white house had a chicken coop and he asked if he could store it in the chicken coop and before you know it, he started getting it all set up and playing. So as the uh, the organ started to expand, the building started to expand. And we currently do a side of movie series. Uh, we rent the place for private parties and dinner banquets. We do a Saturday night dinner dance party. Uh, so there's a number of things throughout the year that we do that's quite fun and special. What a cool experience. So come out to Edison Street Organ Loft for a little film history, popcorn, and a whole lot of nostalgia.